Well, hello Crouch Crushes and welcome back to another video. In today's video, and the second episode of Yuk Can Do It, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Riptide by Vance Joy. So if you haven't seen my last video where I go through all the basics, check that out because it will really help you understand all the terms. So without further ado, let's get so, started. To start off with, make sure your ukulele is in tune. Good cooks eat apples. And you're only going to need three chords for this, which are A minor, G and C. And if you watched the last video, then they, we learnt them all there. So A minor is your first finger on the second fret of the first string. So that's your first finger on the second fret of the first string. And if you didn't watch the last video, you can just learn it here because I'm recapping anyway. And if I'm going too fast, you can just pause and rewind the video. Then G is your first finger of the second string, second fret, your second finger, fourth string, second fret, and your third finger, third string, third fret. Your uh, second string, second fret, second finger, fourth string, second fret, and third finger, third string string third fret and C play with any finger but it's easiest to play it with your third one with the way the chords are going and that is your third finger on the fourth string third fret so third finger on the th fourth string third fret now let's get on to the strumming pattern so the strumming pattern for this is down down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down down so slower, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And for the verses you can do a down tap, up, down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, down, tap, and so on. So now let's get on to the way that the whole song runs. So the intro goes like this. And that's done by playing the pattern down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, once on the A minor, once on the G, and twice on the C. And then you repeat that again. And that's your intro done. So for the verse, you literally just repeat A minor. again until you reach the pre-chorus which is the ooze so it sounds something like this I like to go so you're still uh, once on the A minor and G and twice on the C pattern but just you're adding a down tap down tap down tap down tap and with the ooze like this uh, And for the and it comes unstuck, but you go and it comes unstuck. So you do down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. So and it comes unstuck. And then you go into the chorus, which sounds like this. So for the chorus, I'm going to do the pattern of down, down, up, up, down, up. But I taught you this in the last video, so if you haven't learned it, if you haven't watched that, go and check it out because it's, I explained that strumming pattern in, de in detail. So for the, you're still gonna keep the once, once, twice, once, once, twice, twice. So you're gonna keep that, um, but just add in a different strumming pattern. So the chorus should sound like this. Oh lady, running down to the riptide, taking our way to the dark side. So that 
that's the chorus and then you just repeat the whole thing so yeah this is a little snippet of the finished riptide so that is riptide you just have to practice practice makes perfect so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you're living in a music life just like me and that you enjoyed this version of riptide bye